Now we'll <clears throat> take a look at the influence of Satan. And uh, <clears throat> many in the world today don't recognize the extent of Satan's influence. But Satan is a real person. Uh, he's still the god of this world, and he is uh, a host of demons standing by to help him uh, as he endeavors to deceive the world. Uh, through these helpers, he also brings an enormous influence on the course of uh, world affairs. During this present world system, Satan is free to move about as he wishes, hindering the programs of God and promoting his own interests. Uh, with the return of Christ, Satan will be bound for a thousand years, uh, according to Revelation uh, chapter 20, verses 1 through 3. And after Satan is bound, he is no longer has the freedom that he enjoyed during this present world and the tribulation, but is securely confined for the next 1,000 years. <clears throat> there will be a, a time of peace for 1,000 years, but after those 1,000 years, Satan will be loosed for a season and will again go forth to deceive the nations. For 1,000 years, Satan will see the plans and goals of Christ brought to pass. But after that thousand years, Satan gathers a huge army. And the Bible says it's a number of the sand of the sea to do battle against God's people. It's in uh, Revelation 20, verses 7 through 8 and uh, 8 through 10. Uh, the lake of fire and brimstone was prepared for Satan and his angels. But the unbelieving will also be cast into the lake of fire. They will be confined there forever and ever, according to Matthew 25, verse 41, and Revelation 20, uh, verses 13 through 15. Presently, then, Satan is loosed in our world, but this is a temporary thing. At the second coming of Christ, Satan will be bound for the thousand years and then loose for a season, as we said, and Satan and his angels will then be cast into a lake of fire. Uh, thank you for listening.